So hello everybody. Um, this first part of the breeding process of Coleotus Coleotus, I uh, start to do in English because I was asked uh, to do so because a lot of subscribers of the channel uh, wrote me some emails and asked um, how do you uh, tell us in German I really don't understand you so that's the first part and we start with the breeding process normally um, if you start the breeding process with the Goliathus you import uh, wild caught um, animals from Africa but I have a second generation males and females here and so we try to uh, choose uh, the best two for a breeding pair. I have three different strains of uh, Goliathus. This one is from the strain number one, the um, uh, animal number 22. And I'm, I make a good bookkeeping about that because that in that way uh, you, st you don't uh, get the problem with inbreeding too much. <laughs> Now this is the male, Goliathus male, the nice one, so, and first of course I also make a picture of it for my um, research about the breeding process so that I can remember how big they were and what they looked like when they came out of their uh, pupas. This one is a nice male. It's not too big, but uh, it's okay. It's around how long is it? Probably it's around seven centimeters. And I think this one I will put together with a female in this box here. And and for the first day they are here, I give them a real nice thing to eat: a fresh mango. Uh, they like to eat this mango. Look at this nice male here. I put it on the mango and normally they start just a few seconds later they start eating and now now this is number one 22 here now I I try to find a female for this male and I have one from the strain number three that I want to check what it um, what it did until now it was in that box uh, for the last two weeks it already emerged from the pupil chamber but I still I, I left it in there so that it can develop a little bit further now this is uh, the lady from strain number three I put a little bit of a beetle jelly in here so she, she, she could eat also in that little thing so and now we also we make the same thing with that lady too it's also a typical Goliathus Goliathus female without any um, spots on the elytras so that would be a nice pair to see whether the the offsprings then have also only this um, spotless elytras we will find out uh, in about one year from now because the breeding process now it will last for about one to two months until uh, they are ready for mating and then we have another three to four months uh, that the uh, female is laying eggs and then we have to hatch uh, all the larvae uh, that can last another half of an year so it will take normally one year from now until we have the next generation ready I also make a picture for my documentation so that I can see how big it is and what it looked like also you have to remember how the how the the drawing of the parts of this animal look like so that you can later you can see whether um, they look the same or they have uh, look different the offspring of this animal so now we put the lady on this mango too well if she wants to <laughs> well yeah look now that's a nice pair here look at that male and female come a little closer you will see that they are very nice <coughs> together sorry no problem so 
Now, now we have this is the female, huh? F, and this is the male. And now, of course, we have to put in some beetle jellies where they can eat. And um, and now I don't put too much of a, of a soil in it because I want them not only to dig in the soil but to stay on this fruit. Normally, if they are already um, adults and active, they start mating on the fruits. So this will be a good possibility for them to mate and, and as soon as I see that they were mating here I can put them into a breeding box that I have already prepared and of course you have to every week you have to change uh, the, f the feed for the animals put in some new fruits and of course they enjoy it very much if you always have fresh fruit as you see the female also she's starting to to eat now on this mango and now we go on with this process if you come by later uh, you will find that uh, I add some new uh, videos in this uh, playlist uh, and I have also the other playlist in German if you want to go and, and watch there probably you understand something when you have seen that first video in English too or you just ask me um, uh, to do some more videos in English and I try to act and to do so. Thanks for watching.